Good afternoon everyone. This is another one of my favourite books. I think I've read it in class before but I can't remember. It's called Have You Filled a Bucket Today by Carol McLeod. This is a really sweet book. All day long, everyone in the whole wide world walks around carrying an invisible bucket. You can't see it, but it's there. So you've got one and I've got one. Everyone has a little bucket. You have a bucket and each member of your family has a bucket. Your grandparents, friends and the neighbors all have buckets. Everyone carries an invisible bucket. Your bucket has one purpose only. Its purpose is to hold your good thoughts and good feelings about yourself. You feel happy and good when your bucket is full and you feel sad and lonely when your bucket is empty. So how do we want our buckets to be? Other people feel the same way too. They're happy when their buckets are full and they're sad when their buckets are empty. It's great to have a full bucket and this is how it works. Other people can fill your bucket and you can fill theirs. You can fill your own bucket too. So how do you fill a bucket? You fill a bucket when you show love to someone, when you say or do something kind, or even when you give someone a smile. That's being a bucket filler. So he's sharing his umbrella with the little girl and he's being kind. So he's filling up her bucket by being kind to her. And she's happy and it's making him feel good. So it's filling up his bucket too. A bucket filler is a loving, caring person who says and does nice things to make other people feel special. When you treat others with kindness and respect, you fill their bucket. So she's giving that old lady some lovely flowers and it's filling her bucket, it's making her feel good. But you can also dip into a bucket and take out some good feelings. You dip into a bucket when you make fun of someone, when you say or do mean things, or even when you ignore someone. So they're both laughing at that girl, and it's taking the goodness out of her bucket. They're taking it out of her bucket to put in their own. And how is it making her feel? When you're taking feelings out of someone's bucket, you're called a bucket dipper. You're bucket dipping. Bullying is bucket dipping. When you hurt others, you dip into their bucket, but you will dip into your own bucket too. So he thinks to make himself feel better, he'll take some of the happiness out of his bucket. So he's taking it away, so he'll feel sad. But the thing is, he will also feel bad about himself for taking it off him. So actually it won't fill his bucket. Many people who dip have an empty bucket. They may think that they can fill their own bucket by dipping into someone else's, but that will never work. You never fill your own bucket when you dip into someone else's. All that happens is that you make both of you feel sad. But guess what? When you fill someone's bucket, you fill yours too. You feel good when you help others feel good. All day long, we are either filling up or dipping into each other's buckets by what we say and what we do. Try to fill a bucket and see what happens. You love your mummy and daddy. Why not tell them that you love them? You can even tell them why. Your caring words will fill their buckets with joy.
You'll both feel happy if you do things like that. Watch for smiles to light up their faces. You will feel like smiling too. A smile is a good clue that you have filled a bucket. If you practice, you'll become a great bucket filler. Just remember that everyone carries an invisible bucket and think of what you can do or say to fill it. So tell me how full are your buckets and can you message me or write down some of the ways that you think you can fill other people's buckets? And when we come back to school, we'll have to have a go at making some of these little buckets. It's really nice to make people feel better. That's a lovely story. Have a really nice afternoon, everyone, and I'll see you in the morning. Bye-bye.